This is Patrick, who's CEO of Moffa Cancer Center. We're really happy to come to you live from uh, AACR in Orlando, Florida. We're here with Dr. Rebecca Hesterberg, a postdoc, and Dr. John Cleveland's uh, lab, who presented some really interesting work uh, at AACR on B-cell lymphomas and aging. Yes. So, Rebecca, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Great. Well, tell us a little bit about your work. Yeah, so I um, have been investigating the effects of uh, lymphoma on the healthy immune system. So lymphoma is a disease of the immune system. So I look at what the rest of T cells and other cells that interact with the lymphomas. I've become very interested in how aging might dictate how these lymphomas shape the healthy immune response. So I had a poster on Sunday discussing uh, the population changes and some of the metabolic changes that are dictated by these cancers and by the aging process itself. I see. So what did you find? So, yeah, so we found um, using single cell RNA-seq and ATAC-seq to look at the epigenome uh -huh. of these cells um, that age really affects, age and lymphoma really affects iron and heme metabolism pathways and that the age of T cells themselves can um, alter how, uh, T, how T cells respond to iron in the microenvironment. I see. Yeah. So you use, uh, these are in mouse models. Mm -hmm. And so a mouse gets pretty old. Like the, yeah. the average lifespan of a mouse is only two years. Yeah. But those mice at two years are, you know, hunched over, arthritic, graying, yeah. right? Yeah. And so um, how did you do these experiments? How old were your mice? Yeah, our mice are about um, 78 to 80 weeks. So they are close to that, um, that two year cutoff. We try not to go beyond that because you're looking at um, the interaction of comorbidities at that point. But yeah, we use around 80 weeks, which is about uh, over 65 years old in human. They found the T cells were less responsive against the lymphoma? Uh, we're not sure the role of anti-tumor T cell immunity in the aged mice. We actually see some mild reductions in the lymphoma, some lesser disease burden, although we think that's due to other cells in the microenvironment of the lymphomas themselves, then rather than the lymphomas themselves. Um, but the T cells are not really responding in aged mice. They don't really change in terms of activation. They don't really change in terms of their metabolism quite as much as the, the younger cohorts do. I see. And they don't, uh, you said the main difference was their iron metabolism. That's one of the differences that we found. Um, uh, the iron metabolism, uh, so the B-cell lymphoma drives a lot of intracellular iron uptake uh, of the surrounding healthy immune cells. And the way that the T cells uh, respond to that extra cell, or that iron uptake is very different depending on the age of the T cell that ah, you're looking at. Yeah. So the B-cell lymphoma cells, the, the, the lymphoma cells drive iron uptake into the T cells. Is that yeah. a defense mechanism? Yeah, we don't know exactly if it's the lymphoma cells that are causing that, or there's also a huge increase in like erythroprogenitor cells that happen in the B cell lymphoma microenvironment. Um, so we don't know exactly what cell type is causing that forced iron uptake in uh, the healthy T cells that are there, but um, something is, is causing I them see. to. And is it affecting ferroptosis of the T cells or iron dependent death pathways? Yeah, we're not sure about that either because yeah. when you look at these cells, you're only look at the, looking at the ones that have survived lymphoma and um, their lipid peroxidation, a marker of ferroptosis, um, seems to actually be less, but that could be because they've survived so much iron. We're not really sure. So, what do you think this means for lymphoma patients? Because lymphoma is a disease that patients get as they get older, right? Yeah. As you get older, yeah, your risk of getting lymphoma is higher. What does this mean? Do you think that one day we'll have uh, some kind of iron chelation therapy along with our chemotherapy for lymphoma? Yeah, there could be um, some sort of iron modulating treatments. Um, I think the other thing that is important is looking at the age of these patients. As you mentioned, most, most patients are, are aged um, when they have these cell lymphomas. So I think there could be iron and age-dependent therapies depending on, um, on the patient itself. All right. Well, yeah. thanks so much for being here today. Talk Thank about you. your work uh, you. with AECR and our meeting here. And uh, congratulations on this work. Thank you so much.